Good morning, welcome back to BT. Well, this hockey season, Rogers is going to bring big city NHL hockey to the small town fans with the Rogers Hometown Hockey Tour. The man who's going to be bringing the big game to the small arena is none other than legendary hockey broadcaster Ron McLean. Uh, Ron, the first Rogers Hometown Hockey game is October the 12th. We're going to skip that one if it's okay with you. We want to head right to Sunday, October 19th. What are you going to be doing in Selkirk, Manitoba? Okay, it's a bit of a long story, Jeremy, so you do your selfie and I'll explain. On the 19th, as you say, we're in Selkirk and we'll have the Jets and the Flames as our National Hockey League game. We'll be on the air with a half an hour of storytelling and then three hours dedicated to the NHL game itself. But we roll into town on the Saturday. So the, the show is on a Sunday evening. We'll be there Sunday as well as Saturday with a bit of a festival going on all day Saturday. Jennifer Botterill, we're happy to announce, be one of my co-hosts, Tara Sloan out of Calgary, but the Botterill's legendary Cal, Jason, is one of the winningest uh, ever in men's hockey, and obviously Jen's career speaks for itself. So we'll have skills competitions, music, all kinds of things going on throughout the weekend, and then it's just basically grassroots storytelling. Like as an example, the 61st Battalion won the Allen Cup in 1916. It's almost a century ago. It was during World World War One, and you know how we're kind of going through uh, stories about 1914 this anniversary. Very special teams. Uh, the Selkirk fishermen fueled these Allen Cup contenders, so a lot of grassroots storytelling, some heartwarming stuff, and some fun. Looking forward to it. You get future stops after that, Brandon and Thompson. Why do you think it's important for Rogers to focus on the places outside of the big NHL cities? I just think it connects, you know, I was talking to Alex Depatie who holds breakfast television in Montreal and he uh, participated in Brandon in 1997 in the Canada game. So did Adam Vancouver and participate in those summer games. I always look at the, you know, the dream, where it starts for the young girl who wants to make the Olympics or the young boy who dreams of being in the National Hockey League. And if you don't get to Selkirk, just to give you an example, a crazy example, I participated in the Juno Cup in Selkirk in 2005 and the goaltenders for our two games, Dale Howardchuck, captain of the NHLers, and we had Jim Cuddy of Blue Rodeo for the musicians. Alan Doyle was one of the goaltenders from Great Big C. David Francie, who wrote Skating Rink for Hockey Day in Canada, the other goaltender. And I learned that Gord Downey of the Hips, a goalie, that Greg Keeler of Blue Rodeo is a goalie, Andy Mays of Sky Diggers is a goalie, Luke Doucet of Whitehorse is a goalie. All these wonderful musicians in our country are goalkeepers. And I found that out in Selkirk. So we'll be weaving those kinds of six degrees of separation that you could only get if you take the show on the road. Okay, well, let's talk about what makes this all the same. Uh, while Jets fans are going to say they're completely different than Leafs fans, when you travel all over uh, our great country, is there one thing that makes us all the same when it comes to hockey? Cup? Well, our national, uh, it's like a habit of mind, right? And one of the cool things about the Jets, I don't have to tell you, is that all over the prairies, everybody's involved in Twitter with the Winnipeg Jets, knowing who to cheer, who to boo during the games. That's one neat thing. And for me, it's really cool that Paul Maurice was my neighbor in Oakville and the Leafs got knocked out on the last game of the regular season one year and I went over and dropped off a, a knapsack with two bottles of red wine and fill, filled with beer and I left it on his front doorstep and then I got thinking afterwards that was kind of a silly thing to do to a coach whose team just got knocked out of the playoffs in Hockey Mad T.O. could have been anything but <laughs> he's, a, he's a teacher and so we are all the same and Paul will be as good as anybody to kind of uh, articulate the fact that as a, as a human being, you have your thoughts, and uh, we're all part of the world, which has that sort of universality. But in between is something very different. That's Canada, and that's maybe the Interlaken you know, area of, of Manitoba. That's what kind of shapes us, right? And that's what will be fun to showcase, that little nuance that becomes your neighborhood and, of course, our country. So looking forward to it. You mentioned the selfie, so may I quickly, a big smile? May I? Yes, I'm ready. Oh, that's going to be a nice one. That's going to be great. Thank you very much, Ron. Cheers, Jeremy. Well, don't forget uh, that you've got your Rogers, first Rogers hometown hockey game in Selkirk on October the 19th, Flames and Jets. You can catch that and every Rogers hometown hockey game right here on City and all the NHL action all season long on Rogers. Let's now check out on weather conditions. Let's say good morning to Jenna.